<laughs> yep, I went to Istanbul for a hair transplant. Apparently I like to bleed on camera. That's my blood? And it got a lot tougher than I thought. I'm just gonna honestly say it, my life sucks right now. So how did this happen? Well, moving to Brazil has been the best decision of my life, but shifting from vacation to trying to survive takes its toll. Looking at my footage chronologically, you can literally see how a heavier workload and stress gradually eats up more and more of my hair. Naturally, I also have to blame my crappy jeans, but the pattern has been clear. More stress, more hair loss. And these last months have been stressful. After this footage, I realized something had to be done. Stepping on the plane from Brazil, I already had another trip in mind. A visit to the hair transplant capital of the world, Istanbul, Turkey. It all kind of seemed like a fun little adventure. Little did I know that my trip to Turkey's greatest city marked the start of the most challenging period of my life. This would not be as easy as I thought. The last decade, Istanbul has become the world capital of hair transplants, offering expert surgery to a tenth of the cost in the United States. Each year, roughly one million tourists come here to get new hair. <laughs> and me, I'm one of them. I got my surgery through a company in Sweden, paying just under $3,000. Possibly a discount because the doctor liked the gringo glasses. First up, figuring out where to put the hair. This, my friends, is where some hard work will get you. Trading money for hair. Okay, say bye to your hair. Aww. It's pretty obvious. A life-changing event for you is just another day at the office here. These guys move with speed. Literally 30 minutes after entering the clinic, you are sitting bold on a chair with pen marks over your skull. Seems I'm good to go. Thank you, Instagram. Okay, I guess that one deserves an explanation. This whole surgery is kind of paid by Instagram or by posting on Instagram. Some of you may remember how I stumbled across a course in digital marketing and growing a business online after failing to make my YouTube channel profitable. <laughs> well, in less than four months, that course has made me $12,300 sitting with my phone two hours a day. The principles are simple. You learn how to optimize your posts. You choose a niche you like and you keep posting within that niche. Instagram will match you with people having similar interests and some of those people will buy your digital products, including the course itself. It's specifically made for total beginners without a bunch of followers. I started without a clue in a brand new account and frankly speaking, very low expectations. Now it's my main income and this surgery would never have been possible with my previous income. If you wanna know what this is all about, check out my Instagram, Painless Profit, or this video about how it all started. Now, if you're sensitive, cover your eyes for the next four minutes. Actual surgery footage coming up. <laughs> I warned you. This is such a weird feeling. I know she's basically removing all the hair from my head. It's all bloody. And I'm lying here thinking about caipirinhas and the beach. <laughs> uh, it's so bizarre. If I'm looking a little weird the coming months, you know why. Swedish Gringo Hair Transplantation Edition. The weirdest thing, you'll be more or less awake during the whole process. You will doze off every now and then, but generally have an idea of what's going on. I was promised getting 3,000 grafts of hair transplanted, which means 3,000 tiny holes in my skull. Is it painful? You know, your head is pretty much not there anymore, but sometimes when the anesthesia hasn't really taken, you can just feel how they're ripping out your hairs. <laughs> and that is painful. And it kind of reminds you what is actually going on, that they're ripping out <laughs> all the good hairs from your head to eventually uh, place them where there's not so much hair. Generally, hair is taken from the back and sides of your scalp because those hairs are programmed to grow for life. Now, toilet break. 
Oh no, the Swedish gringo is bleeding again, but this time it's good blood. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm saying here. I'm gonna put the hair back. I'm more drugged up than after a night in Lapa. Not sure how I even made it to the toilet in this state. But somehow I got back to the operating table. This is so weird. <laughs> and I am on a lot of anesthesia right now. <laughs> you, you're sleepy and feeling pain at the same time. Then it gets even stranger. Suddenly the whole crew is off to a smoke break and I am a little tipsy. This might be one of the weirdest moments in my life. <laughs> Sitting alone in the room and my hair is over there. <laughs> Here we are, at the clinic again. That's my blood. That's my blood over there. Uh, that's possibly blood as well. And uh, I'm not supposed to be walking around. Let's not get my fresh hair on the floor. Please come back and put it here. <laughs> Playtime's over. I think it's time for me to get my hair back. Please put it back on my head. Here we go. Thank you, Instagram. You made this possible. <laughs> oh yeah, that one hurts. And there's plenty more of that before the skull is completely numb. Finally, they are shooting back those 3000 grafts where the hair is needed the most. Next on the bucket list, eating lunch with a half-transplanted head. This feels so bizarre. Feels like having a night snack after partying 10 hours. Damn, I was hungry. <laughs> then the last of the 3,000 grafts are put where they belong. Oh, wakey, wakey. <laughs> I think we are ready. I think we are done. Congratulations, you look disgusting. <laughs> this does not look pretty. <laughs> Not gonna be seeing people for a while. Was it successful operation? Yes. <laughs> then you just walk straight out. And that, my friends, is how you do a hair transplantation. Let's enjoy the sun. Or let's not. <laughs> Can't be in the sun for a while. But that sweet taxi ride is waiting. Like a boss. See you. Thank you. See you. See you. See you. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, those guys were real nice, but I hope I won't have to see them for another 10 years. Also, it suddenly feels like you're made of glass. Bump your head once and the whole operation will be undone. And I suddenly need to deal with the fact that I'm now bald. I feel like a freaking alien. Who's that guy with the bloody head? That's me. Not much to do but to hop on the plane back to Sweden. Only to realize the surgery was nothing. This is when the real suffering starts. Before doing a hair transplant, know this. Results don't start showing until after three months and the road there is rough. The first weeks you'll be more or less disconnected from your normal life, walking around in constant paranoia over hurting those hairs. If you hate wearing a cap, summer is not the optimal time to do it. You'll feel like everyone's enjoying life except you. Yeah, this sucks. And it's not just the itching and not being able to shower properly. The first 10 days you have to be really careful about how you're sleeping to protect your hair. All right, we are now about two weeks into this little project and I am in the ugly face. I'm looking like a baby bird waiting for the feathers to grow. <laughs> Most of my new hair has started to fall off and I'm left with these crusts all over my skull, which I'm not allowed to remove. Yes, it will be looking like you don't take proper care of your hygiene. And I can say this much, it's been pretty rough. First week, you need to sleep in pretty much this exact position to not rub off your new hair by mistake. Not my preferred sleeping position. 
In addition, imagine having 6,000 tiny sores all around your skull, healing at the same time. <laughs> Feeling like you're wearing a helmet, two sizes too small. Also, my head is not allowed to be in sunlight, resulting in a pretty awkward tan. I am ready to skip ahead two weeks. It doesn't matter how much you study before, watching your newly transplanted hairs fall off one by one is excruciating. In addition, you're not allowed to work out to vent your frustration. And for me, personal life added another layer of torment. Me and my girlfriend were struggling to keep the relationship alive and now decided to break up. With self-esteem on an all-time low, pretty much the only thing holding me up were these guys, my friends, and liquid strength. Lesson learned, don't do this when you're not mentally strong. And yeah, it'll get worse before it starts getting better. All right, we're now three and a half weeks after the surgery. And if the last phase was known as the ugly phase, this is the depressing phase. All the new transplanted hair has now fallen off, which is normal. But what they don't tell you is that your old hair might get damaged or shocked by the procedure as well and fall off. So I'm currently standing here with less hair than I had ever before, just waiting for the old hair and the new hair to start growing back, which might still take weeks. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to wonder if this was such a good idea after all. On the upside, I can now finally start working out again. <laughs> and boy, did I start exercising. Running turned out to be the only way to clear the head. Forrest Gump himself would be proud. And I can tell you this much, it is demoralizing just waiting to get your hair back, to get your hairstyle back, to get your identity back. This is so much harder than I thought. All is not bad though. By now, you can start using regular shampoo, you can swim, and you don't have to worry too much about rubbing off your new hair. But still, no sun on that scalp. What up, boys? And don't worry, alcohol ban is only for the first two days. Then you can go all in. Yeah, guys, that was Ola. Why aren't you in Brazil anymore? You want to go to Rio? There's no real answer. Will we see you in Rio soon? No one knows. Time will tell. That's Swedish for I'm coming New Year's Eve. Awesome, Rio de Janeiro is always better with some Ola. You like my new hair? <laughs> yeah, I just love it. I just love, love your new hat. <laughs> I hate these caps. I'm not a cap guy. I'm not supposed to be walking around with these. I'm just gonna honestly say it. My life sucks right now. I need to be honest with that. I'm normally a pretty positive person, but at this point, it's uh, let's just forward one month, right? <laughs> The good news, it doesn't get worse than this. One month in, you're still weeks away from seeing any results, but you also won't be losing any more hair. And frankly, you've grown used to be looking a little weird. Luckily, fear is still alive. And don't keep your surgery secret. Most people find it cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little trip to Turkey as well. Uh, I guess it's too late. It's never too late. Never too late, guys. Luckily, life is more than hair. Fun's over. Let's rock. And the best part about going to a rock concert, most men are old and bald anyway, so you'll fit right in. From here, stay strong and press on. Doctors keep saying full result may delay up to one year, but the real finish line is four months. That's when you'll start seeing some solid results for a shorter haircut. And this is where I finally let go and start enjoying my time instead of trying to fast forward it. My last slice of Swedish summer in a long while. And a last chance to hang out with my family before moving back to Brazil. The town I was born is famous for two things. 
annoyingly outgoing people by Swedish standards, and constant rain, which may be an explanation to why I ended up in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And we're now only days before I come back to my caipirinhas. All right, it's now been six weeks, and this is as good as it gets before returning to Brazil. Pretty much none of the transplanted hair has started showing yet. This is all my old hair, minus what fell off due to the procedure. But about now is when things start happening for real. When you rub your scalp, you can feel the new hair growing underneath. Each individual hair is slowly getting thicker. And basically all restrictions are lifted. Apart from exposing your hair to sunlight. Cheers. Yep, that awful hat will have to stay on for my first three months in Rio. I'm gonna get robbed. So mom, how do you feel about having an ugly son? An ugly son? No, you're He's never had an ugly son. <laughs> will you be proud of me when I have my new, long, beautiful hair back? I cannot say I'm, <laughs> that uh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> she loves me, but she can never be proud of me. <laughs> but you love Brazil, right? Oh no! <laughs> it's not a good place to be because it's happened all the time something. So you're a little worried when I'm away in Brazil then? A little. So much. <laughs> Sorry, mom, I'm going again. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, by the time you watch this, my bag will already be packed. So, would I recommend this? Was it worth it? <laughs> well, for me, I had no choice. I knew it would get even worse if I didn't try. But I didn't expect it to be this rough. Expect pretty much two months of your life to be on hold. The first two weeks living in fear of rubbing off your new hair or showering with too much water pressure. It's too early to say anything about my final result, but just the feeling that the hair is growing, <laughs> that's giving me hope. And when I see you guys in 10 days, I expect further results. I'm so happy I had the guts to do this. Now, time for Brazil. See you with a caipirinha in 10 days. And while talking about Brazil, I am finally offering travel help and guided tours. My secret gems, party events, safety training, help with the ladies, anything you need to make your stay unforgettable. Check description for details. And if you want to learn how to make money just using your phone, follow my Insta account, Painless Profits. Thanks for watching and be safe.